good morning guys welcome to the vlog so in today's tutorial we will be creating a classic navigation menu in figma and this is what it will look like okay so to the left we have a logo in the middle we will have some links and to the right we have group of items for cart my account and search so for creating this navigation menu we will be using concept of components and variants so this is how we are going to do it we will have one component called nav this is the main navigation component and we have used this component we have used the instance of this component on all these pages we have three pages home shop and recipes we have got one navigation component and we have got some active state and default state so when you go to shop page you see that the navigation menu link instantly turns to green so this is the active state okay and this is the default state for the link so for this we are using the concept of variance so default and active these are the two variants of our links okay so we have got component variance and just three pages so without further ado let's get started okay so we'll do everything from scratch okay so this is a new file in figma let's go and create a frame okay so i've chosen macbook pro first things first we call this page home okay and we will add a layout grid to this frame we'll create a 12 column grid we will set the gutter to 16 and margin to 16 as well okay okay so this is done now for the navigation menu we'll create a rectangle okay we are going to make it 88 pixels and this will cover the entire width of our frame next what we are going to need is a logo to the left so we'll keep it simple guys for the sake of this tutorial it will just be a plain circle and okay we'll do the coloring bit later on and then we will need okay all right Let's go and grab this icons and colors from our demo file. Okay. So these will be our icons. Okay. I can zoom in and show you what we have got here. So this is the card icon. This is the icon for the account. And this is the icon for search. So I've just used some icons that I found on the net I okay. So you can use any icons that you want. You can download it from icons eight or flat icon, or you can even go to fonts.google.com and you can look for icons over here. You can search whatever icons you want. For example, if you want search. You can find the search icon over here and you can just go and download the SVG file. Okay. So these are the icons. Uh, for the logo, we will use this color. Okay. And we will place this logo to the left. These icons will go to the right. Okay, let's make this a little less dark. 
okay for now. Next thing we're going to need is navigation links. So let's create a link called home. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the font that we'll be using is so sad. Pro. Keep the weight as semi bold. Okay. And then we are going to create this into a frame. Okay. We'll just right click frame selection. And the reason we are doing this is because we can have padding added all around it so that we don't have to manually. Add that much space when we create our nav menu. So say now we have got some padding added to this. Okay, and since it is an auto layout, if we type something like this, it will automatically add the padding to whatever text you type. Okay. This is home. Now, as you must have seen over here, we have this default and active state. So that is the first thing that we are going to do. This is the default state. We'll create a component. Okay, so this is the component. Once we have a component, we'll go to variants and we'll add a variant. Okay, this variant, we'll call it as active. This is the name. Active, okay and uh, the color that we are going to use for this is this one okay so come over here I'll put the color is this so now we have the default state and the active state okay so these are variants okay let's get it out of the way we'll keep it over here okay now we will create our navigation menu so this is home okay i'll quickly create copies of this second one will be shop third one will be called recipes okay Okay, let's align everything properly and then we are going to distribute the horizontal spacing and we are going to keep a gap of 16 pixels between these items. Okay, once that is done, we will create a group and we will place it over here and then we'll make sure that it is aligned properly. Okay, so Let's grab this entire thing. Now, since we want to keep this as a component, we don't want to create it every time. We'll just drag this thing outside our frame. Okay. We'll make this rectangle as white. Okay, now it's much better. Now, what we are going to do is we'll select this select all these components and then we'll go here and we'll do create component okay so we have created one component let's call it navigation all right so now we have a home page uh let's add the other pages so i'll do control c control v i'll call this Okay, control C, control V, and press space. Okay, now we will copy and paste the navigation menu inside all our pages. Okay, start the system. 
done one more okay so now we have a copy of our navigation component inside all our pages now what we want to do is we want to set the active state for each page so this is a home page so home will be active inside shop page shop link will be active and over here the recipes link will be active now how do we do that we come over here we select the frame and then over here we have the property of the frame set as default we just make it active and automatically it becomes green okay we come to shop again we select this frame over here we come and make it active this is green we do the same thing for the last one make it active okay so this is done now what we are going to do is very simple we are just going to prototype so prototype select home and the interaction go to click on click navigate to home and select this interaction on click navigate to shop okay third one all right this is the third one interactions on click navigate to recipes okay i think that's it we are done we hit play and we have a shop ready we'll just set the width to fit width and then we will hide this thing over here so i'll just uncheck this all right so home shop recipes shop recipes say great yeah so i think that's done that's done guys that's it so it's pretty simple concept you'll have to practice it practice it once though so we have simply used the concept of component and navigation nothing else everything it's just basics okay that's it guys that's it ah. so if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you have any questions post them in the comment section and we'll create a part two for this tutorial and we'll continue creating this website okay we'll add some cards we'll make a shop and we'll create a lot of tutorials we'll create an actual shop in figma let's say okay thank you